Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Round, Hardcore Mode Challenge, Round Two, Episode Three. All right, so we're in that ravine base that has, uh, like two ravines. It's like an X pattern. I'll need two coal for this chicken stack. Fifteen chicken, that's quite a lot. Well, what the hell? Was that an Enderman? I think it is. Be very, very quiet. I'll need a sword. I'm not gonna look at it. That's just plain madness. It's not on the surface, because I would kill it. It's just, uh, not, uh, I don't know any turn of fate, uh, <coughs> expressions. I was going to say, don't look a gift horse in the mouse, but that's not something I would call an Enderman. Certainly not a gift. Mm. Well, I'm going to go down deeper into this, uh, oh, I'm hungry. Deeper into this, uh, ravine to get some easy, oh, I just wasted pork, or beef, whatever. I see here's some easy iron to get. So, that may or may not put me in a early lead against Viticus. I don't know exactly what he's doing so far. I'll know post-production, but uh, while I'm mentioning Viticus, uh, I might explain <laughs> uh, what this uh, challenge is all about. Uh, I'm doing a hardcore mode challenge with Viticus, another Minecraft YouTuber, and he's playing on the same map as me. And we already did a previous round, and he won, because I starved to death. But that shall not be repeated in this round. And uh, whoever mines the most resources before dying is the winner the challenge, basically. And there's no other rules other than uh, our resources, iron, gold, or diamonds, have to be in block form or in, in, in a chest in the nether. And if it's in block form, like, build something out of it and try and protect it from, like, ghasts from destroying them. Which shouldn't be too hard, but it, the whole nether factor adds a twist of challenge, is what we decided. And... It's not a... Crap. Is he coming after me? I could use some string for fishing. That's all the string I need to make a fishing pole. I'll do that later. And maybe test out, see if I can fish inside like a 2x2 two two pool of water that might be very useful to have inside my base I won't have to go hunting for food but I'll test that out when I get back because I need to... well I don't need to but it's my prerogative to get some valuable resources like that iron. I don't see any gold so far but it's pretty we're t not really deep enough for that. I might as well get this coal. But I really don't want to spend too much time getting an abundance of coal. And... It's good for torches and all, and cooking food. So... Well, I don't have too much, so maybe two stacks is enough to set a cap for. And I found some iron in the process, so perhaps it was not a bad idea. In fact, it was probably the best thing I should have done in that scenario. Anyways, I'm trying very hard to make me iron mining this coal interesting. 
uh, I may talk about my goals. Uh, I don't have any, I think I mentioned it in the previous video, but I don't have any goals for building structures. Oh, well, my prerogatives are completely irrelevant now. I don't have a pick. Well, I have this pick, but now I don't. So, ha. Huh. Can't say that, oh, Mirgo, if you have that pick, you can still mine. I can't now. You just try and challenge me on that. I'm sick of that wooden pick. Things that says to me, I don't care for wood anymore. Usually I don't waste things, but I'm just wasting my time carrying that pick and inventory space. I'll take this cooked chicken. And can I burn? No, I can't. I don't want to burn seeds. Put that stuff in there. Probably actually needed that wood, but oh well. Let's build two picks. And I really doubt I'll be building or crafting much iron picks. Certainly no diamond picks. That's a waste of the diamond in this uh, challenge. Simply because iron can pretty much mine anything, but, or I mean, uh, stone can pretty much mine any of the needed resources. So, well, I don't, actually, I don't think you can mine gold, I'm not sure. But I don't want to spend waste too much iron on iron picks when stone can mine iron. Okay, I was over here. And unfortunately, yes, I must go back for the rest of that coal. But... You know what? That's enough coal for now. Screw it. Whoa. There he is. Careful not to look at him. Oh, here's some iron. How am I doing? Not bad. Okay. What's up with that light over there? Lava? Okay. Wow, these, uh, this ravine is actually a lot more difficult to navigate than I thought it would be. Yeah, look at this. I don't know how much worth it is. It's just so much threat of falling to my death that I don't think this is actually a good place to gather resources. I may have to move off somewhere else. And it's becoming night so I have to go back to sleep again to minimize the chance of mobs spawning on me. But... Mm, I'll reseal this. That, there must be an Enderman really close, other than that one I just had a glance at the corner of my vision. And there we go. And I might as well get rid of this wood shovel. I got a good amount of iron from this location. But I think it is time to move on because in general this hasn't been a very good location there wasn't any food mob spawning and there is iron in seeming abundance but it's very difficult to get to and there's a very high risk of falling to my death and I ooh, 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 ooh. not going that way oh crap he's so fast He's caught up to me. Aha! You cannot fence with me? Well, we'll go ahead... Yeah, go ahead and go back west. Back to where I spawned. Although, in hardcore mode, the word spawn has very little meaning. This is a very good flat land area would be a good place to make a farm. But I'm gonna make a farm where I see uh, the next place I see uh, like cows. 
And I don't need to make fences to make like a stable for them too, you can just use dirt. You see all the time you see people using fences to pin them in, but... I mean if you want the farm look, you can go ahead and use fences, but dirt is economical. And I don't want to waste wood on fence. Oof, sorry about that. Got very dry mouth all of a sudden. But I shall persevere. Look at all these sheep, it's ridiculous. The only time I've ever seen this many sheep was on a server where the admin had turned up the mob occurrence. It's, I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's because it's not sure Mojang was overcompensating for the poor mob generation in 1.8. I remember that being everyone's com biggest complaint, at least mine as well, is that there just was never enough sheep. Make collecting wool so irritating and drawn out. But anyways, speaking of drawn out, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, why not go ahead and check out uh, Viticus's, Mr. Viticus's perspective on his side of the Hardcore Mode Challenge, and click the video link annotation in this video. It should be right in your face. <laughs> and thank you for watching.